Welcome to ITCS 1010. In this video we're going to take a look at getting your computer set up for working with the software that's used in this course uh, as well as navigating the website to see how we can access our resources, our assignments, our quizzes, and all the different stuff that we're going to need to pass this course. The first place we're going to go is to the My IT Lab website myitlab.com when you go to this website um, what we're going to do first is we're going to register as a student click on register as a student and you'll notice that you need three things you need an email address which I'm sure you have you'll need a course ID that you'll get from your professor usually by email and you'll need an access code or a credit card the access code comes in a bundle from the bookstore when you purchase your books from the bookstore or if you purchased your books from elsewhere you can purchase the access code right from this website so if you don't have an access code you'll need a credit card to purchase that now we can click register now and get set up now you're going to select the version of office used in your course currently we're using office 2013 so we'll select that one and then we need to enter our course ID now this is going to depend on what your instructor has sent to you um, so enter what's appropriate for your course and then once you enter that just double check here that everything that you um, are expecting to see is correct make sure if that doesn't look right you'll want to change to a different course ID and then if you already have a Pearson account from a prior class uh, any of the the my labs the the my math lab my um, I think there's language ones as well Pearson has several websites out there for these different classes in this case it's my IT lab for computer classes so if you don't have one we're gonna create a new account you're gonna need to put in an email address a username password and all of this information and accept the license agreement and when you've completed that we can go on to the next step now once you get signed in you have a couple of choices here you can use your access code that may, came, may have come with your books you can use a credit card or PayPal to purchase this and there's two options here you can purchase my IT lab with the e-text or you can purchase just the my IT lab code notice that the difference here is pretty small um, so if you don't mind using an e-text which means you're gonna read on your computer or your iPad or something like that um, it's a less expensive option than buying the books in the store now that's all well and good but what I'm gonna recommend for most people is get a temporary access code and that options down here that gives you 14 days to make sure that this class is right for you um, and that way just in case something comes up and you're not able to complete this course if you know that within 14 days you wouldn't have wasted your access code on that so in most cases I'm gonna recommend that you use the temporary access uh, that being said once you're you're set and you know you're sticking around in the course absolutely put in your permanent access code it's gonna to to notify you that you're on temporary access and there is a way to transition from that temporary to the permanent access and then the next piece here it logs you in creates your account and now you can go to your course and when you click go to your course you'll jump right in here into your course you'll see that your temporary access will expire pretty soon and that's okay once you are ready to use your access code or purchase that access code option then you're all set again it's best to use the temporary first just in case you accidentally go into the wrong course um, you never know what might happen it's always best to just try the free option first and then toss in your code once you know everything's good so we'll go into our course here and this is what it'll look like when you first sign in now there's a lot of options on the left 
and you can get to those and kind of peruse at your leisure but one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your computer for my IT lab it's really important to do this because my IT lab uses some very unique simulators and these simulators are uh, sometimes a little picky about the settings that are used on your computer so we're going to go to the setup my IT lab now there's a couple of things that you can do here it's going to recommend different operating systems different browsers and that's all fine you can go through that and use the, uh, the browser or the operating system of your choice but what I'm going to recommend for everybody is scroll on down here to this browser tune-up now yes the browser tune-up wizard is optional but it's recommended because what this is going to do is it's going to run through a bunch of settings and guarantee that everything is absolutely compatible with my IT lab this is going to fix 99 percent of the issues that you come across when using my IT lab so run the browser tune-up for PC or run the browser tune-up for Mac I'm on a PC right now so I'm gonna to choose to run the browser tune-up for PC when I click on this it actually downloads a zip file and that download process may be a little different for different browsers but it downloads a zip file that contains a folder and within that folder is a setup program and you're gonna run this setup program and it's going to install the software that's going to make your computer work the best. Once that installation is done, and you're basically just accepting all the defaults on this, once that installation is done, you're going to get a new icon on your desktop. So I'm going to close my browser so you can see this. There's going to be this new My IT Lab for Office 2013 icon on your desktop. From now on, every time you want to go into My IT Lab, this is what you're going to want to launch. And when you launch this, a screen is going to come up and it's going to run through this bunch of checks as you can see it's going to verify that everything's working it's going to make sure that all of these different aspects of your computer are fully compatible with my IT lab it's going to check which browser is best to use with my IT lab it's going to clear browser cache lots of things that can possibly gum up the works while you're trying to run these simulations and then once this makes it through its checks and all of those pass it's going to bring you right to the login page you can use the same login here that you just set up log in and you can go ahead and get started have a great semester